Good evening, uh, everyone, and thank you very much uh, for being with uh, us once again. We are uh, today uh, talking about uh, how the things are going to be in the near future. We all know that the, uh, not only our country but the whole world is facing the COVID crisis and with the passage of time, uh, not many things are happening as we thought it uh, to be. And uh, now we see more and more cases uh, adding up every day. Uh, I would like to uh, think about more uh, investigations which are being done and hence we are getting more and more number of cases which are positive. Of course, uh, we have got uh, quite a number of patients who have got either no symptoms or either or may have very minimal symptoms. Uh, but in the uh, pandemic uh, time, we always feel that whatever symptoms are there, they are likely to be contributed to uh, the COVID infection rather than thinking of something else. Now, as uh, lockdown uh, is over and we are uh, going towards our so-called new normal, which uh, I think is a true normal also. And uh, quite a few things which I thought that I will uh, discuss uh, how we should gradually start our life. And uh, the fundamental of everything uh, is very simple, that we have to replace uh, knowledge with fear. Fear, how long are we going to be afraid of it? And uh, I feel very confident that uh, if we all follow the set down norms to prevent COVID infection, I think we can be fairly sure that we will not get it. I would take the exception of uh, us as a medical person, paramedical staff, the police and the other persons who are handling, sometimes we can sort of, because of the heavy doses of the virus uh, uh, under which we, uh, the medical and paramedical staff has to work, uh, can uh, uh, get their chances that we can get. However, uh, I would like to say how we are going to prepare ourselves individually and a uh, couple of points. First, I would say that you should have a very good mask and uh, please look into the various uh, YouTube videos, etc. how to use the mask. Just by having a symbolic mask, which uh, I have observed, a lot of persons are just using it as a symbol, symbolic uh, uh, gesture of keeping the mask. The mask has to cover face and nose completely. And we should be breathing through the mask. The air which we are breathing in and breathing out has to go through the mask. That might produce a little discomfort, but uh, keeping the situation in mind, I'm sure, which is going to be there for months together, we should get used to the mask without any reservations. And not only uh, get used to the mask, but also um, get used to uh, wearing it properly. We also, I would like to bring to your notice that the front surface of the mask is the most dangerous part of the mask. So if you are touching it uh, off and on, you are getting that virus sitting on the front of the mask uh, on your hands. And unless you sanitize, first of all, we should avoid touching the front of the mask. The mask should be held by the ear loops and the you know, by which you can either remove it from one side and uh, then you put in a nose pin and nose clip so that it fits well. And uh, if you find that they are loose, then maybe you can twist it a little bit uh, and you find out the way. Second, I uh, feel that uh, in the coming time, we have, we have the lots of masks available. A simple surgical mask should be good enough for a normal uh, population. For us in the medical field, we used to uh, uh, must have the N95, which is medical grade 
masks, not the N95 which is used for pollution control because these are two different categories. And uh, masks uh, which have got a ventilator, I think those are the masks which are meant for uh, pollution, uh, not for really in a true sense. And as you use the mask many times, if you wash them, I think they lose the utility because all these N95 masks uh, have been made for a single time use. And when you are keeping them, I think the very wrong habit which I have seen that those expensive masks, when you pull them out, you put it in your uh, bag uh, and the bag has got telephone, it has got a keychain and your car keys and many documents. So the whole bag gets uh, spoiled and contaminated by the virus because the virus is on the front surface and you just pull it out, keep it like this and put it in the bag. That's not the thing. If at all, if you want to dis uh, remove the mask and you are wearing N95, which so first of all, I think first it should be washed. If you are not able to wash, then it should be put in an envelope, a separate brown envelope or whatever envelope. You just put the mask into that and then sanitize your hand. So you must sanitize your hand before wearing the mask and after wearing the mask. Hand sanitization should be more than what you expect. Whenever you have the opportunity, please wash your hand with soap and water for 20 to 30 seconds and uh, here I would also request you not to wear any bangles, uh, uh, any rings or uh, watches or wear a full shirt because that the uh, hand cleaning is not proper because you have to clean hands higher up because you know you are touching like this sometimes you are touching like this so you know this causes the contamination of that area so you have to Watch, wash your hands higher. That is uh, another point. And disposable masks scores over it because you can just pull it out the mask and throw it in a dustbin. Don't. I mean, this is a well utilization of your resources. And uh, now I think they have got uh, abundant um, stock of the surgical mask, which were not there a couple of months back. And then we said, okay, use it and reuse the mask. So now the situation is there and also we see that it is very common now to people to be suffering uh, with the uh, uh, COVID infection. Whenever, first of all, when you want to meet somebody because there may be uh, situations where you cannot avoid, if you are meeting somebody, you have to wear the mask and the other person whom you are meeting also should wear the mask and the social distancing of six feet is a golden rule that is important. Do the meetings as short as possible. Keep the maintain the distance. Don't meet people in the closed spaces because of the ventilation problems. If you are there in the open spaces, the chances of getting contaminated by a virus are far, far less. Do not go to the crowded places. Go to the mall only when it is important and necessary because those by and large are the closed spaces. Avoid any closed uh, rooms uh, for a, any a type of meeting and uh, as far as possible in a common place air conditioning also should be avoided uh, that matter. Try to um, compile what your, your sort of uh, uh, jobs which you have to do if you have to purchase, if you have to buy, you have to go to the ATM, you have to do. So combine everything together as far as possible and just go once and come back. Spend much less time as short as possible outside. Uh, another thing uh, very commonly uh, uh, asked is carpooling. Of course, I think in the today's time, uh, carpooling uh, by and large, I would say, is out. Even in your car, I think uh, if you have a driver, I think you should be sitting on the back and only two persons should sit and the driver and the passengers both have to wear the mask properly and uh, intermittent uh, switching on because of the hot weather intermittent switching on the air conditioning is okay but if not uh, required uh, reduce the air conditioning and get more option of fresh air from outside even while the air conditioner uh, are on. So these are uh, certain points uh, which are possibly important, which we should uh, 
uh, keep in uh, mind. And travel, of course, the travel has to be only the travel which uh, uh, cannot uh, be uh, avoided. Of course, there are compelling circumstances where you might have to travel, but travel as little as possible. Another point uh, is, uh, of course, we have been uh, deprived of the domestic help for a very long time. So I feel that um, get your domestic helps less frequently and for possibly lesser times. And uh, when they are working at home, try to keep yourself away from your domestic helps and uh, uh, not to go very close and if possible let them work in a secluded place of course with the full mask they are wearing sometimes i feel the using of the glove is not the way people think because it gives you false sense of uh, uh, safety because uh, uh, sanitizing the glove first of all the gloves are generally loose which i have seen there are a lot of areas wrinkles etc which are difficult to sanitize so you should not I mean, you can avoid it unless you are doing something which needs, uh, which you want to avoid the contamination of your hand. But I think your hand can be much better way uh, sanitized and more effectively sanitized and uh, washed uh, otherwise. Then we talk about uh, uh, the, you know, like repairs, like air conditioning repair and various types of uh, maintenances which happen. Try to be not there. Uh, in the close proximity of the persons who are coming from outside and uh, they also must be strictly told because it's a very typical habit you want to ask some of them uh, anything to anybody they just pull out the mask down and then you know start speaking and that is yeah, absolutely the other way we want while the person is speaking or coughing or something uh, that is the time the mask uh, uh, should be on of course uh, we have to uh, in the coming time, as we are seeing, the incidences are going to be more. Uh, maybe today, I think we have uh, been asked not to do home quarantine, but unfortunately, uh, this uh, may not be true uh, for the future. And future, I think uh, very confidently, I feel that home um, quarantine will be much better option because our medical uh, facilities are uh, to be reserved and kept um, uh, ready for the serious uh, COVID infections rather than asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic uh, uh, persons or the family members. I think home quarantine is quite effective and we have seen that if the person is uh, reasonably confident and follows the protocols and the norms, uh, it's a fairly a safe way to do. Another point I would like to uh, make you aware of that during these three, four months, what we have seen is a lot of complications of uh, routine diseases which have come. So uh, if you are going uh, for any medical consultation, first you see the possibility of virtual consultation or video consultation. If you can do a virtual consultation, please avoid going to the hospital and do the virtual consultation. And I'm sure over a period of time, we will uh, realize that virtual consultations could be as good uh, as uh, the actual physical consultation, barring some conditions where the physical examination is important. So I think we should look at the virtual consultations as far as possible and be satisfied because it uh, saves you with a lot of trouble and also a lot of possibility of getting infection in the uh, on uh, in the hospital so virtual consultation should be increased uh, and you should provide the information to the doctor here also i would like to uh, express that uh, uh, sometimes the connectivity may be an issue with you as well as with the hospital or the, with the doctor. So there for a couple of minutes here and there because uh, of the technical issues and sometimes the uh, signals may not be very good and the voice. So please make sure and uh, make uh, let the doctor be informed as much as investigations which can be uh, shared with him. Now um, routine problems, if you're going for a routine, uh, say for example, blood investigations, 
uh, your routine blood investigation might be due, please go ahead and get all those investigations uh, done. For your personal immunity, I would not really go into the detail. We all know that uh, high protein uh, diet, uh, zinc, vitamin C, and of course vitamin D3, these are the couple of important uh, elements. And uh, recently I think we have seen uh, magnesium and K2 being added. More and more studies are coming now where you might like to add uh, magnesium and K2 also uh, to increase the immunity and especially magnesium and K2 is responsible for the proper uh, utilization of vitamin D3 which is also a, a disease uh, modulator. So that is one simple addition. Now I think keeping the future trends uh, what we are seeing and what we are advocating that uh, it is a good idea like previously we all used to have a blood pressure instruments. I think it may be a good idea today to have a pulse oximeter which is not very expensive and gives you your oxygen levels and your pulse rate. And of course everybody has got a thermometer. And uh, some of the large families and families where there are a very senior uh, vulnerable group of uh, um, family members, some of them they are going in for uh, of course the oxygen cylinder because um, uh, if the saturation falls I, your pulse oximeter will give you the saturation and any saturation which is going below 92 or 93 uh, with a downward trend uh, I would very strongly advocate that uh, they should immediately report to the hospital and uh, if you have the provision of oxygen, it's good to use. Some of the communities and uh, resident welfare associations have uh, started acquiring the oxygen uh, uh, sources and uh, in case of emergency to any particular family which can be given, of course, uh, we should try to find out other sources uh, as well. Also, I am advocating for very uh, your senior members there is a very simple spirometers which are available on in medical shops and those spirometers are good for exercise, lung exercise which is uh, effective and as we know that the COVID infection are primarily the infection of the respiratory system having a strong respiratory uh, system is uh, very vital and this way by using a spirometer I, all of us we can uh, increase our vital capacity of the lungs which at some time can be very crucial uh, to be uh, for the uh, patients who get into these uh, the infections. So having said that, uh, I feel that uh, the trend is there that we are more and more equipped for uh, uh, doing our work from home and uh, social uh, contacts. I think you know people get compulsively they go, go sometimes because the uh, possibility you can go from one place to another place you can meet your friends going to their houses and for social interaction. I think it's, I strongly feel that that should be avoided at least for a couple of weeks when we are seeing uh, every day's increase in the numbers uh, and uh, that is not a good time to socialize and uh, I think we should restrain with uh, that uh, idea of socialization. So with this I feel that we have to prepare ourselves. Uh, the masks are going to be there for many months and you have to have a, a good quality disposable mask and if you are using the reusable mask you have to wash them and please uh, see how they are to be put in a pocket. Uh, not your uh, trousers pocket or in the your jacket's pocket but into separate uh, envelopes where you preserve them so that the outer surfaces are not coming in contact with any surface. Many times you just pull out the mask and put it on the desk. The whole desk get contaminated and the papers get contaminated and you touch and you pull out the mask again you put it and then walk off. That should be avoided every time sanitization of hand before wearing the mask and after taking out the mask is a must. So mask culture is going to be there. Please don't hesitate uh, to be uh, sort of using them because it's not a question of 
day it's going to pressure of months and if you keep this mask as we have uh, uh, tried to tell that masks are actually the temporary vaccination for all of us so till we get our permanent uh, vaccination which will be maybe the first uh, three months of uh, 2021 till that time the mask and uh, hand sanitization and uh, social distancing is going to be our temporary vaccination and if we use sincerely these temporary vaccinations i'm sure we can be very confident of avoiding the infections to our own self and to our family members and especially to our senior uh, members in the family uh, show your love and affection with by keeping distance from them and every time you go and meet them in their room it's good idea to wear mask because if you are asymptomatic you don't want them uh, to be uh, infected with this so this is with uh, this is what exactly some few points uh, which i wanted to uh, uh, discuss and talk about and i'm sure i would just look at some of the uh, questions uh, uh, i think we will just uh, see if there are any questions right uh anything which we have at the moment any questions i think i will be too happy to reply okay so if there is a uh, uh this thing please post your questions and uh, in case uh, 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 uh i get some of these thing possibly i will try to reply to you uh, as as soon as uh, possible so stay safe uh, wear the mask as and use it as a temporary vaccination and keep distances and sanitization is a must and this is the time uh, we have to restrain ourselves and this is the way we can prevent uh, the covid infection so be safe and uh, 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 keep yourself uh, safe from this uh, notorious and highly uh, contagious disease thank you